<laughs> she has no idea what's going on. Man, this thing's still smoking. Trying to get all the smoke out of it. Got a lot in there. Still got. I need to get that caboose under though. Because I gotta be careful with the um. The Williams uh. Bachman engine I got, the NS No Fork Cedron, because. Oops, I just shorted out the rail. Got the wheels oiled on this guy, so everything works nicely. And I can highball this engine and does not derail because there's not enough speed. But with the NS, I have to be careful what I do because they can go fast and it can literally whip the caboose and the. Actually, it froze off the caboose. The caboose is actually on my table right here and it drifted and, uh, and it tipped over and knocked us off the rim. I'm like, oh no. But, uh, Got a cool special engine coming here soon for old gauge or O27 I mean because O27 and old gauge are two different scales according to Google it says otherwise but if you look at some of the old gauge stuff at the notice the train cars the train cars are a little bit more different and I notice my voice gets louder on my camera because when the camera is closer it Makes the audio louder, I guess. But, um, I'm gonna put a couple drops in the Peabody. Ow. But anyway, so I had this special engine coming. I just buy another thing with it, because it doesn't come with it. I was gonna buy one today for less than 45 bucks. Three, four. That's as far as I go with it, because too much it can, um, flood the thing I usually put like between three to four drops and that's it to the max with the Peabody with my steam engine I do about the same three to four and that's it my daughter's engine that's gotta be taken apart and I have to get a new smoke unit for it it's shot it doesn't put out the smoke like it used to so that's a no biggie hopefully I can do it doesn't look that hard but I gotta make sure I get the right one for the right engine. Or unless they're all the same, I don't know. But this guy works out just fine. As you've seen, how much smoke that pearls out. Peabody, same age as my, well, my dad got it a month after my daughter was born. So it's pretty awesome. She was born in October 23rd of 2013. And my dad got this in December of 2013. As right there. Which is pretty cool. So it means a lot to me. It was my dad's. Now it's me and my brother's. But my brother decided to give it to me. So I'm going to 3D print a bell. And this unit. Because it came without that. So no biggie. But it has no reverse. Even though the reverse is on. So I don't know what's up with this engine. What's working. What? Oh yeah look at that. And with this guy here, I can actually, you know, full throttle it, and that's all she's got. Which is totally fine. So I have it brought right there about eh, close to 90. And you can see, oh wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Draw any feet real quickly. Oh. I should have done this with my other engine, but it was hard to, to do. So anyway, the other engine I got, I ordered it today, paid less than $30 for the engine and $20 for the tin, uh, for the other item. Just gotta stay tuned what I got. I guess it's pretty rare because I can't find it on uh, YouTube at all. And it needs to be fixed up and hopefully I, my dad's got parts where I can run the engine again it's gonna be awesome if I can get it up and running I can't wait I'm excited man just look at that though 
<laughs> so, let's see we here sometime. Today's Wednesday. So it should be here sometime maybe Friday or sometime next week. I got a new uh, 3D printer. It's a Creality VK, I think. V3K. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but I had it on eBay. Got it for a little bit cheaper than what Amazon wanted for it. So it stores there. But freaking taxes on that machine from Amazon is like 25 bucks in taxes. And eBay is like 20 bucks in taxes. Still insane, but it is what it is. I'd rather go with eBay. So I got, like I said, I got a cheaper price, so. Got filming coming for it. It should be here by tomorrow. My machine won't be here until Monday. <laughs> Ain't that a dream? Can't wait to start using it though. And this item, I can't wait to fix it up and show her where one of you to do it. I'm excited. Yeah, I love that body though. I just love how it smokes. Hickory smells so good, but it's getting kind of smoky now and I'm still getting a headache from it. <laughs> so, I want to show you all what I've been up to and Later on, this layout of mine, the O20, the old gauge stuff is gonna go bigger. Let's just say longer. Uh oh. So that's why I got all this stuff moved back over here this way, because I can go a little bit longer that way with it. And then all I gotta do is carefully climb over this without my engine hitting. Is then I can move my chair if I need to. I can probably put it right here and then if I need to I can still get my drawer I can stand I can work on my engines a lot easier and then sometime tomorrow is gonna be what engine can pull the most so my brother can take his engines too because he wants to see what his can do as well so he's got some atlases and everything I gotta get this engine kind of fixed up. I gotta get the coupler from the front to the back. So it's a work in progress that I gotta do. Not fun though, but it is what it is. This engine, I don't know, because this don't have no coupler. So what I might do is borrow a coupler maybe from here. Uh, no, it's different. I don't know how I'm gonna get couplers for this engine. It's a uh, Bachman. Yeah, Buckman, so. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun to do. Stay tuned. See y'all next time.